Hey friends, welcome back to your girl Brittany and welcome to the Pastelloween with Scrap Passion 01 for the 2022 season. Now we know it is spooky season so of course we had to get a pastel up in this and so I want to thank Betty for reaching out and asking me to take part in this. So you guys know that Halloween is my jam, pastel is my jam, pink is my main jam and so I had to be all over it. So for this hop, we have a wonderful group, very, very talented group of ladies. If you stopped by here first, that's okay. It's all right. You know, I ain't mad at you. But some of you may have come for Marion's Craft Corner. So if you did, hey, what's up? Welcome. And then after me, we have up Patty, who is Mommy and Me Crafts. So make sure you go ahead and check out all the ladies in the lineup. A lot of great talent. And I'm not exactly sure if everyone will will be but i do know quite a few are doing a giveaway myself included so make sure you stay through to you know the rules for the giveaway make sure you check out all the ladies and all the talent and everything that they had created and share um, and shared with you and go ahead and show them some love so first off I'm going to tell you that I had used this digital collection. This is um, Jora's Crafts. I think that's how you say it. Over on Etsy. I needed something. Like, your girl had, like, no pastel anything. I'm like, what? I don't? That's crazy. So, I found this. This is just a few sheets that I um, actually have that I hadn't cut into yet. But, um it was so pretty it's like she has different styles like she has like the same she'll have like some of the same prints but at different colors but of course you know <laughs> look at that gingham of course that's just what drew me in and then we have the pink pumpkins and then on the white and then the black really really cute paper collections very simple nothing like overly overkill or anything like that um but i have a link to her etsy down below so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started and i'm gonna show you what i created all right <laughs> my ghoulish pets this is what i created i i, I honestly don't know what it is <laughs> i know it's a backpack that's for sure but um i was kind of going for like a cauldrony type of feel and then i wanted to make it into a backpack so i kind of want to make it like a loaded cauldron and um i don't have a tutorial on this i might come back later and do one I honestly can't remember what I even did. I winged it. Like, I I swear, I am not lying to you. I literally winged it and was like, let's go for it. Let's see if I can pull this together. And so this is what I came up with. So I do have a shaker on the front and the back. And we have the straps here. And what I did was I took some black glitter, uh, chunky glitter full leather. And I just kind of, you know, took my scissors and just kind of went at it. Try to make like little drips and coming down like oozing down and then i did it longer on the front part and then i also did some hot glue and then i added the silver foam balls on the top there so um like it's bubbling up and then oops we got one to you know said i don't want to play um so i kind of like that it's bubbling up and then like you have like all the oozing stuff coming out i mean that's why i was saying like it was kind of like a i was going for like a cauldrony type of ordeal and then um i use the little bat bowl here so for cute and um this little pumpkin this is mango craft pumpkin and i just added some bees there for the stem i used the word dye treats and i also added nuvo drops on there to give it some more texture i got these little bats here that i added um this is part of the kit that i had purchased from happy crafter shop and then i used the little starburst um dye a little puffy star that I also got from happy crafter these little spiders here that i got from walmart i made a little dangle this all of this um for this dangle is also included in that kit from happy crafter thanks girl thank you lisa and so i have this cute little purple pumpkin down at the bottom we have this girly skeleton we have like these little um, shaped type pumpkins here. We have this little um, silver pumpkin charm here. So, so super cute. Like all of these came out of her kit. 
And yeah, and I did do a shaker so you can see all the fun goodness on the inside. I did some Heishi beads, I did foam balls, polka dots. Um, I did like some little black and white ones, some speckles, and then that's the same mix that you see hanging out in the back here. I also have like some little coffin pieces there. So, so super cute. Um, it stands about uh, five inches in height, six inches in width, but because it is cut to size, so it kind of, you know, tapers as you go down it does have a snap closure now i was not thinking smart on this and i was like oh silly goose you're dealing with paper so it does it it is a little fragile um so you have to handle it with care and i actually did three snaps but it kind of didn't work out the way i wanted it to with having a three so the three the third one in the middle i don't even snap it but this is what the inside looks like and this is completely handmade. This is not an SVG that I created or anything. It's completely handmade. Like I said, I winged it. I was like, mm, let's figure out something. You know what I mean? But, you know, for every backpack that we create, we have to put things in it, right? Right. So, I have these bat bows here. I also created a topper using the little hairpin. You guys, um, I've shared that in the video before where I've used these and turned it into a bag topper. I just did a little ticket. I added a um, little ruffle napkin, um, a little acrylic pumpkin from um, ML Sosi over on the gram. I also used a little RIP, a little um, button piece from Buttons Galore More. And then this one says Fright. And again, I just did some little babbles, added some fun little sequin mix in there, and then you just put the topper on so it's reusable. And so that's that piece there. And then also I have a little trim sample that I did. And on this, this is using the KS Craft um, trim dot or trim sample die. And then I just used Boo. I just added some tickets and a little foam pumpkin there. Added a little dangly piece here. I, really think this witch's hat is so stinking cute and then we have the little um bat homies at the bottom there and again all of this came from happy crafter lisa's um shop and so like we just did some variations of purple so we have that in there and then i also did a sequin mix putting it in the little syringe that you can get at walmart they also have some at dollar tree this year too those ones are a little bit smaller and a little bit thinner but I have both of them, but I just opted to grab this one. And then I didn't want it to be like super boring. So I added some rolled flowers on in here. I added the pink puffy star again with the acrylic pumpkin. And then also the ghost here. I did the little bat pick from Dollar Tree and added some little flags. And then it says eek. And then um, we have the sequin mix. The sequin mix is the same that is in, that I used for the backpack. And it's so stinking cute. I really think that's so cute. So then after you're done using it, you can reuse it and gift it or, you know, keep it and Google and Google and Google eyes over it. And then the last thing that I created is a little mini embellishment box. Now this Boo um, 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 die that I use, this is also a mango craft. And um, in the background, I have a little spider web doily. I have um, this fun little die cut here that I also got because... Um, Happy Crafter, she she had some kits in one of her sales, uh, I think it was a couple weeks ago, and she had the pastel kit, and so that's what I purchased. I was like, ooh, girl, yes, because I don't have anything like die cut right now. So, um, oops, it came out perfect, um, as well as this ribbon here. I used the spider paper for the background, the little starburst. I used this silver sequin trim. The little spiders are also from Button Galore. They have um, these little like button packs. Um, it's like, so it's various like little flat backs and buttons. And so, and they're all shaped different Halloween stuff. So we have like pumpkins and skeletons and cats and bats and spiders and candies and all sorts of things. So that's what I had used from that. And then inside of here, we have some little styrofoam bones. Um, I added some rolled flowers. I added these little skull and um, other beads in here. I have these little pretty beads. These came from the kit from Lisa as well. These really pretty bows. And then I also am sharing some of the acrylic pieces that um, these pumpkin ones are from Emma Solsi. And then I have like the little skeleton gummy bears 
and the little potion bottles as well these originally came from creative mojo wholesale studio and so that is what is inside there and um i mean you can say quite a bit it all depends on what you like truly are trying to make like all of this fits in perfectly get in there see of course i'm on camera so it's not gonna act right mm, starting to be brand new rude how rude all right, so, all right, so this does hang out a little bit, but then we just kind of snap her along, and again, you have to be gentle because she is fragile, okay, she is fragile, and, um, but yeah, <laughs> that's what I created, I don't, I had no rhyme or reason. <laughs> with anything that I did I, I was just like hey let's go for it because you know um, work has been taken over and has taken over my mind body soul and spirit and I was like I need to whip up something I gotta give y'all something so I really really do hope you enjoyed this project that I created here um, this like literally took me over a course of three weeks <laughs> <laughs> I don't craft that slow. I just didn't have the time. But um, I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, I may come back later on with a tutorial on how to make it if you are interested. Um, again, I don't remember what I did. So I'd have to like pretty much like go from scratch on <laughs> trying to figure out how the who's is, what's it's and glores and what have you. But yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, thank you so much for coming on over if you want to participate in my giveaway make sure that you are 18 plus that you are a subscriber to my channel and that you um make a comment down below about your favorite time of the spooky season and then you'll be entered into the giveaway but most importantly make sure that you are also sharing that love to the other ladies in this hop because they've worked so hard to go ahead and create the projects that they have created so they deserve that love too so go ahead give them a comment subscribe to their channel make sure that you're there for them too just as much as you're there for me all right so i'm gonna help this um, giveaway open for a week. I will announce the winner next Saturday. And again, you all you got to do is be 18 plus. You have to be a subscriber to my channel. This will be open to international and US as well because it will be a monetary prize. And um, I just want you to comment down below what your favorite part of the spooky season is. And if you're not a spookster, that's a okay. Tell me your favorite part of the fall season. That works for me too because I love fall. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today, guys. Make sure you go say what's up to Patty, who is next. And I will check you out in the next video. Bye.